Well, look at this. <laughs> Thought I would show you a quick video. We took down a maple that had some damage to its trunk. And just to show you how donkeys and mules do, Albert's sleeping now, but they are browsers. They will chew your trees apart. They'll take all the bark off. <laughs> Becky's inside the tree. Benjamin's going for the buds right now. So if you don't wrap your trees, you're gonna have those kind of problems. What we do, walk across the swale here, is we wrap our trees with chicken wire. It works pretty well. Um, the things you gotta watch out for are like this, where the ends of the wire come loose. Really need to be tucked into itself so that there's no sharp edges for the donks to get stuck on. And you'll be constantly redoing those if anybody has a better idea please tell us, but that keeps them from chewing it. You can actually see the chews on the tree, but um, that does help quite a bit. Save the trees you want in your dry lot. I'll show you what the problem is with donkeys. Goats too, I'm sure. Molly will be our demonstrator. Hi, Lulu. So this went down about five minutes ago. And this is, believe it or not, everything you're already doing. It does not take any time at all for them to do it. But you can see the bark here um, is chewed right off of this maple branch. Let's see if we can get a shot of Lulu. So on your standing trees, if you don't have them wrapped, they'll do that. And if you don't know, the tree is kept alive by the sap that runs up the outer portion of the tree. That's why you can tap them. Hi, Lulu. Yeah, you're not doing anything wrong. But let me show you what they do to the trees. So this tree had wrap around it sorry i'm going through some mud which you can see is on the side of the ground because they rubbed it off they use that as a rubbing post but what they'll do is they'll actually chew the bark completely off the tree and this tree has no buds all the other ones do so this tree is not alive anymore it's standing dead uh, basically, they just walked all the way around it and chewed all that bark right off of there. It doesn't matter how much food you give them, they will do it. So, we try to keep all of our trees wrapped. Uh, this is a tree over on the other side of the pond that was not wrapped because I was going to take it down. I just haven't got to it yet. And... Another one you can see where they've chewed the bark right off of it. That tree was already dead, but if that had been alive, we would have had a real problem. Um, they've never paid any attention to the pine trees until the fall, and they decided to now eat the pine trees, which were never wrapped. So they chewed it all off the roots, and you can see the sap came out. The tree still seems to be holding strong but um, that is what they do they'll just eat that bark right off of there another example of a nice wrapped tree sorry I was zoomed in <clears throat> it's bright out here I can't see um, but that stayed nice and tight there's no sharp edges nobody's been rubbing on it and they are not trying to kill it <laughs> so if you have a paddock that has trees in it make sure to get them wrapped or fenced or something just to keep them out oftentimes when we're working 
will throw the donkeys branches so they can have a little treat and uh, chew them. Because everything's wrapped, so we're not really worried about encouraging them to chew. Um, they don't really have any desire to do so. But like I said, this tree just came down. Sorry for the wind, but um, they immediately knew what that meant and they got right over here and started eating. So if you don't want your trees chewed, make sure to get out there and um, wrap them. If you're setting up a new paddock or a new area in your paddock, and if anybody has any better ideas than that, we're always welcome to see them. Thanks. Have a good day.